Hey everyone, as always, it's Dylan over at goldpaintreviews.com. The one and only, I'm the only one that's on the website, so I don't know why I always tell you, but in case you're a first time visitor. Um, and I, I, I'm really excited for today. I know it's been a while since I put up a video. Um, I was going through some medication adjustments and I just wanted to take a break and not really do anything for a while. So, but the good news is, while you're sitting around and not doing anything, you tend to get more paid in than you have. So, I'm really planning on putting out a lot of videos in the next couple weeks. Um, and it really made me think about what kind of paid I wanted to review. And one of the ones that has been on my list for a while now is Dirt Hog. Um, they were one of the, my first bags of paid dirt I ever bought was Dirt Hog. Uh, Prospector John and Dirt Hog were the first two pay dirts I ever really panned from buying it online. And this was before I was doing reviews. And Dirt Hog was still one of the first ones I reviewed um, before I did videos or anything, just when I first started my vlog. And the one pound bag, this the Dirt Hog special here, was my number one Roy for the absolute longest time until it was just recently knocked down to number two. But it's still, it was 127%, I believe, was what this Roy was on a one-pound bag. And, and, you know, I've been really wanting to go back and do a video review of them. Um, just because it's been so long. And it, but you always have that thing, you know, you don't want to keep doing the same pay dirt sellers over and over and over. Or no one will know about other ones, you know. And you won't know about these ones that are horrible. You know, so I always try to change it up. But when I was sitting around, I really wanted to do this. So, uh, my wife actually... Uh, emailed them and you know I gotta say the customer service was absolutely great my email, wife emailed them and uh, I believe it was a Mr. B replied within minutes and she went back and forth with him for a conversation for a while asking him different things about the pay dirt and he was really responsive he was really you know told her everything she wanted to know he answered every single question she had and within minutes so the customer service was top notch but I already knew that and most of y'all that's buy pay dirt from dirt hog already know that so, but for today, I'm going to do this one pound bag because I'm really excited to see this again. This is my old friend, my Hi Roy. Um, it's a one pound bag. Uh, when I emailed them and talked to them, everything for all their bags is concentrated down to a, a quarter screen, a quarter inch screen, and then uh, supposedly no gold is added to the one pound bag. It's only the two pound and ups that they add gold. So this is supposed to be natural, which is one of the reasons why I was so excited when originally when I had such a high ROI. But, you know, that's unsearched. That's what you're going to get every once in a while. Um, now, for this one, the price is $29. Um, shipping is pretty high for because it's from Canada. And so it's 11 bucks for just a one-pound bag. Um, I would highly suggest you not just buy one bag of pay dirt from Dirt Hog. Uh, you get multiples. I'm pretty sure for 11 uh if you add more than one bag, I think uh, two of these is still 11 but I think anything over that, over the two-pound bag, even maybe that, the two-pound bag might be 17 bucks. But I know originally when I, I first bought from them, I bought the two-pound bag, and I believe it was three one-pound bags. And it still ended up being the same shipping. So, you know, if you combine shipping, it really reduces it on them. So I would highly suggest, you know, like I only paid $17 shipping for both of those, where the two-pound bag alone is 17 bucks. You know, this one essentially was free shipping, but I, I, technically I should divide it in half or something like that for the Roy. But when I do the review, I'm going to give it a Roy based on full shipping price just because if you happen to order just this bag, that's what you would get and what I would get. You know, it just so happened I cut down. You know, it's the same thing as if one day I got they offered free shipping. You know, my Roy would be a lot better, but... So I'm going to base it off what is the norm. And the norm for this is $11 shipping for a $29 bag. So it's $40. Um, so I'm, I'm, now they do use the coffee bags that I'm not, you know, a big, huge fan of. But it's slightly different coffee bag. Usually the ones that most sellers sell, the bottom is the rounded part. And on these, the sides are. I don't know if it makes it stronger or what. But it, it didn't break on me. So... I'm going to go I'm gonna cut this bag open and make sure I get everything out of these nooks and crannies, which is one of the reasons why I, you know, I know why sellers use them. But, all right, so I'm going to be right back. I'm going to cut that open, 
and then I'm gonna classify this down and see what we got. And I can tell you right now, it's pretty dusty looking. So we'll have to see how it does to the water. So as usual, I'll be right back with the classifications. All right, back, finished classifying everything out. And as you can see, the vast majority of this stuff is in the over 10 mesh. Um, and when Mr. B, who talked to my wife about it, he did tell her the one pound bag was really for beginners. And if you know, if you knew what you were doing, if you want, you always get the two pound bag and more. And you know, of course, it's you're always going to upsell. But obviously, this is really a lot for beginners. I mean, almost everything is in the over 10. I did see a couple little pickers um, in there, and I saw one little flake in that. These I didn't see anything, but as you can see, there's almost nothing in the over 30, under 20, and the under 30. What's surprising is the under, actually, I have these backwards. Oh, excuse me. See, it's been a month, you don't do stuff, you get out of wax. Um, so, but as you can see, I don't know if you can really see it in this, but in the under 10, all the way down to the over 30, a lot of the pay dirt is red. I um, don't know what that means. Iron, I guess. Right, who knows? But once everything above, there really wasn't. Um, you know, and again, it is really, really dusty. And then the under 30, not much. And I didn't test it to see if, how much was magnetized. As you can see in that, nothing. Very little. So, I mean, this, obviously, you know, I don't really use a magnet. So, in this pay dirt, you wouldn't even need one. There's nothing. I, I, I'm not expecting to find a lot in either one of these pants. Maybe a little bit more in this one. And I'm thinking it's going to step down where the majority of what I'm going to find is here. Then here, then here, then here. So, I'm going to be right back and go start panning out and show you what I get. All right, back, um, screened out the over 10. And as you can see, got five nice little pickers out of it, as I expected. Um, I had seen some of these when I was screening it out. So, really happy with that. Um, I didn't weigh them. Um, I will, I'm going to weigh them in a second, and I will tell you what they are in the next one, just to have an understanding. Now, also, I did, since this stuff really is dusty, I did find some under, well, it's probably under 50, but I'm just going to say it's under 30 because it would have fit through the under 30 screen. Um, I found, I don't know if I'll be able to show it to you in this. Probably not, but you can see it right up on the, the edge stuck to there. There's a little bit of gold. Um, not a lot, but I figured I'd get it anyway. Um, you know, and I'll add it to the total of, I'll add it to the under 30 pan later. So, all right, I'll be right back. Um, I'm going to go weigh these out, and then I'm going to go pan out the under 10, over 20, and I'll come back with the results from that as well. All right, <clears throat> back, finished panning out the under 10, over 20, and as you can see, a nice bit of gold. It was uh, it's about 30 pieces, um, which is really nice. You know, when I originally went through it, I mean, it's probably about four tablespoons, and I put two in at a time. The first two, I only got two pieces. So I wasn't only expecting about another two pieces. Maybe three. But that last little tablespoon had a nice little bit in it. So I'm really happy with this. Um, so add that with what I found in the, the five pieces I found in the over ten. I'm really happy so far with what I found. Um, I did weigh up the, oh Lord, the over ten and they all ranged in size from 0.1 all the way up to 0.2 with the majority of them being around the 0.1 um i believe it was a 0.1 another 0.1 a 1 a 0.12 0.14 and then one that was 0.2 so they were wet i didn't really dry them off you know i didn't cook them down or anything so you know take that with a grain of salt with the size wise but that should be right around a half a gram so I'm really happy. And, you know, add in this and 
Now we're going to do the under 20 over 30. And I don't really expect to find very much in this, but obviously I found a little bit of uh, really fine stuff that I put in my makeshift squeegee and found a little bit. So there will be some, I'm sure, but I'm going to go and get that right now. And sorry, I'm kind of out of sorts today. It's just one of those days. But I wanted to really shoot these. I'm really excited for this pay dirt. I mean, it's been a really long time since I've had some dirt hog. And I'm just excited about it. So I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go pan this one out and show you the results in a minute. All right. Finished panning out the under 20 over 30 and as you can see again about 30 little pieces just smaller than the last ones um and there wasn't very much dirt i mean it was probably two tablespoons total and that's what i recovered from it so again i'm really happy um i'm expecting a really decent roy out of this um again over 10 under 10 over 20 and now the under 20 over 30. um so lastly, I have the under 30 to do. Um, and, you know, like I said before, I did find some really fine under, probably about under 50 stuff. Um, and I'm going to add it to this. Well, I'm not going to add it to that because I don't have to pan it out a second time. But I'm going to add it to it once I'm finished panning all this out. So as usual, I'll be right back with pan that out and we'll see what we get. All right. Finished, under 30, what a surprise. I don't know if you can see it from there, if the camera's too far, but that's a lot of gold. Now, weight-wise, it's probably not very much, but it is a lot of gold to pan out of that little amount of under 30 that I had. Um, and that really surprised me. Um, this is a beginner bag, they said. Um, the one thing that I like about that is it was most of the pay dirt was really simple to get the over 10, the under 10, over 20, and the over 30 were all really easy to pan. This one, whoo, it took me longer to do this one, that little bit than it did all the rest of that easily. Um, it all floated. It, you know, it really surprised me though, because you know, most sellers nowadays tend to stay away from having this much really fine gold in there, pay dirt, because a, a beginner won't find this. But I'm guessing that there was enough gold in the other ones to give you a decent ROI where if you didn't find this, it wouldn't be a problem. But I love this. This, you know, when you start out with some easy pay dirt, you know, you typically, if you're an experienced painter, you'll say, well, you know, it's easy pay dirt. It's not going to be much fun. I'm just getting the gold out and, you know, a little practice. But to find this in there makes it that much sweeter. Um, I, I'm ecstatic. So I don't know what the Roy is going to be, but you know, one, I'm really happy about this pay dirt just because it's been a long time since I've had any dirt hog. And it's something that, you know, brings me back to when I first started panning. So and it was one of my first reviews. This one pound was my highest Roy for the longest time. Um, so I'll be right back and I'm going to get all the pans up and give you my final thoughts on everything and we'll see how it goes. Let's maybe turn this. All right, back, and here's the final thoughts on what, uh, from Dirt Hogs One Pound Pay Dirt. It cost $39, it had $11 shipping to me. I'm pretty sure it's a standard shipping anywhere in the United States, which would have been $11. Um, so $40 total investment. It Mine was a little bit lower just because I did buy two bags. And I again, I highly suggest if you're gonna buy some pay dirt from anywhere that's got high shipping, buy a couple bags, even if you just buy two of the $39 bags, you know, you'll save money on the shipping, you know, and you always want to save money whenever you can. Um, and the pay dirt is great. You know, I, I've had a lot of these bags and they were one of my favorites. So, you know, I've been dying to do a video review for them and now's my chance. So again, we'll go over it. The over 10, it was five nice little size pickers. Um, they weighed in between from 0.1 all the way up to 0.2 grams. Um, the under 10 over 20, again, a nice bit. I think it was about 30 pieces. 
and about 30 pieces also from the under 20 over 30. And the monster amount of gold, even though it's not going to weigh as much as the other one, is from the under 30. And it's really surprising about how much under 30 gold there was. So, I'm ecstatic. I'm happy. Let me go through what my ratings are going to be for this one. Now, for the Roy, you have to go to my website. I, I don't put it on the videos. So, because I really want people to watch these videos to see what I'm getting and how excited I am or how disappointed I am and not be worried about the Roy here. So, fun factor, this is definitely a 10. This alone surprised me so much that it made it worth it. Um, you know, it would have been decent fun. Just, you know, I would have probably given it an 8 just because it was dirt hog and I wanted to pan some for so long. I probably would have given it an 8 no matter what. Um, just for that. But then it was fun, so it would have stayed at an 8 until I got to this under 30. I was going to give it an 8 because I really did not expect anything out of this under 30. So, great stuff. Um, so that, I'm definitely giving them a 10 for the fun factor. The value, again, will be based on the ROI. Um, my overall experience, I'm going to probably say it's going to be 8 to 10, somewhere around in there. Um, you'll have to go to my site to see exactly where I decide on that. Um, and that's just going to be based on some of the other things, too. Like the Pater description, um, it, it, it should be an 8, but I might give them more just because of the customer service. Um, it, it's Their website is very basic, and they even tell you on their website they don't spend a lot of time on their website. They spend most of their time on the Pater. So... You know, it, it's definitely going to be an 8 to a 10, depending. And same thing with the Pater quality, um, because it is what they said. Now, um, Pater quantity was above. I, I, you know, if you go to my website, you'll see I did weigh it out. It was over a pound. So it's definitely met its match. Uh, the Pater packaging is going to be an 8, because it's, uh, you know, the coffee bag. So, you know. You got to get the eight for the coffee bag. I'm sorry, but you know, I know why I know why sellers use it, but I'm just not a huge fan of them. But you know, so it was an eight on the uh, Pater packaging. Customer service beyond a doubt a ten. Um, if it could have been an eleven or twelve, I'd give it to them. So that's why I might bump up some of the, like the Pater uh, description. I might bump it up some because the questions I was asking them about, you know the gold and stuff like that and they answered all my questions which what normally would be some people might put on a website but you know like i said they don't spend a lot of time on the website so i might bump it up because and they were so fast but it. it didn't take you know two days where a lot of times if i decide to buy pay dirt you know it's kind of like now i want to buy it now you know i want to buy it in the next hour or so i don't want to wait three or four days to get a reply before i buy it so you know it was great that it was so quick to get the uh, replies um now, for the shipping, I'm going to give it a 10. Now, this is a hard one, you know, because I, on my scale, it's not very cheap. Uh, this was $11, and the two-pound bag is $17. But it is from Canada. There's no getting around that. That's the way the United States and Canada are, uh, you know, just killing everybody, shipping stuff. And it's expensive. So, you know, he's not charging extra. You know, it's not $5 shipping and he's not charging, you know, an extra 12 just for handling fees. It's what it costs. And, you know, it's just like, you know, I recently did some pay dirt from Australia. It's what it costs. Um, so if you're interested, you know, and again, that's why I said if you combine shipping, it'll make it a lot nicer and a lot cheaper. So I'm going to give him a 10 on that because they shipped it out quick. I mean, I, I ordered it and the next day it was shipped. And so, you know, I'm happy with everything. So that's going to be it, and if you come back in about an hour, I will have the two-pound bag review. Um, I just have to edit it, uh, as I'm going to shoot it, and then, you know, while this one goes up, I'm going to be editing the other one, so it'll be up in about an hour or so. So check that out, and I have another review coming in a week, another double review um, in a week from now, so I'm excited about that one as well, and then the week after that, I have another old one, old favorite of mine to do a pay dirt review on. I'm just waiting on something before I can do it, which is why it's not next week. Um, so this is it. Gold pay dirt reviews. Dylan here. Um, go to the website to check out the final Roy and the final numbers and how I graded this out. Um, but again, I'm super happy with it and I can't wait to get into the two pound bag. And I'll see you in about an hour and you'll see how I did with it.